Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash first impressions of the Mac Pro Zuka bag. This was my Valentine's Day present this year. I'm super excited to open it. I've only opened the box, like the tape. I haven't looked inside yet. Um, it's a pretty big investment, so I figured um, a first impressions video would be pretty useful for most of you. I know this is only available to Mac Pro members. Um, so pretty much hairstylists, people who freelance, things like that. I don't know the pricing information off the top of my head, but I will find that out for you as soon as I can and put it in the information. So as you see, it's in a big ass box. And let's see, tons of black tissue paper. Cool. So it's a box in a box. It's boxception. So I'm going to pull that guy out and be right back. So first I thought it'd be kind of funny to show you what I've been using for when I freelance. Uh, this is just like the regular Canon um, camera bag. And it's not very big. It's, you know, just for like the Canon Rebel. Um, but I've been <laughs> using it and hauling it around. It gets so heavy from all of my stuff. There's just like little dividers. You can see my brush belt still in here. and. Um, yeah, this, I mean, it's been awesome for somebody that didn't have anything, but I definitely have acquired so much makeup and stuff and things that I need to bring on shoots that I need to definitely have more space and more organization. So, here is, oh, I guess I'll keep it in light. Here is the box that was in the box. Just sport black. Don't know what the tag says. So we will open this guy up. So you can already see it's like really heavy duty plastic. I'm pretty sure that you can use these as chairs um, because nine times out of ten at shoots and stuff, especially if they're like in the forest or in a non-conventional spot, there's no seating, let alone for models, even, you know, especially you afterwards. So I think it's flight ready and it's about the size of a carry-on. So I don't know if anybody else has ever checked makeup. <laughs> it's kind of a, a dangerous game and so yeah it's really heavy duty I like it the wheels seem pretty pretty smooth and let's see if you can see that so it's like a mesh I am not a light here let's do this so there's like a little mesh net thing here zipper pocket another zipper pocket that looks like it goes down this way like about this deep um, I like that everything's kind of like already unzipped so there's no hidden you know compartments you won't be like discovering things later oh Ben this is the part I was excited about because I'm definitely like a label junkie and I know people have mixed thoughts on Mac nowadays I have them too sometimes but overall I do really like the brand it's what got me into makeup. Uh, I've been pretty loyal, especially with the Mac Pro discount. A lot of the um, full priced items definitely aren't worth the full price sometimes, especially like limited edition eyeshadow quads, things like that. But since I get them at the discount, it's kind of worth it because instead of paying $44, I'm paying like $20 something. And anyway, let's see. So this buckles here, it looks like. There's another zippered pouch. Oh my gosh, this is what I was so excited about because I did research on this a million years ago, but I haven't done anything recently. And then my fiance, it's been on my Mac wish list forever. And he almost got it for me for Christmas, but instead got me a new phone. So uh, I wasn't sure if there were, would be like organization stuff inside. Couldn't remember. So I'm excited about this. So there's these little pouches. I want to say pockets and pouches, pouches at the same time, so it came out funny. This one's deeper. This one's shallower at the top. And let's see what we got. Cool. So we just have clear Mac zippered pouches. This is going to be awesome. You're going to be able to see what's on top, what's in there. Look at this guy. Is this a... I think this is a case. Oh, cool. This is like a... Um, let me zoom 
out if I can. This is like a cover for my bag. The other thing that's going to be awesome about this is I'm going to have a place to put all my makeup, even um, the stuff I use day to day, and put it like in my closet or something because right now it's kind of all over my work desk and a couple drawers and my son gets into it all the time. So that's not the best. Oh, cute. Okay. Well, I guess not cute. Functional, not cute. It's come with like little tags. It looks like I can write down what's in here. So when they're in the bag like so. I don't have to pull everything out if I don't want to. And these all look like they're the same size. So two, four, there's six of these guys. So that's the inside. Uh, there is a little mesh net at the top. That's going to be awesome. Probably keep my brushes there. Um, especially dirty brushes because I like to separate them. Don't put them back in the same brush belt and um, I have a little mini one I usually use for that but it gets it gets full really fast so I think this is the same exact on each side another little mesh net a couple zipper pouches uh, let's see yeah this is like heavy-duty metal and this pops up just like a suitcase let's see that's actually really tall you just kind of Pull it around. This isn't focused, but bonus pug shot. Sorry. And I am so, so excited for this. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely sit on it. Tip danger. So don't. I'm going to try sitting on it. Let's see if it's. Oh my gosh, and it's like not rickety. I'm sitting on it just in case you were wondering. It's not rickety. Looks like it. It's pretty stable. Cool. Let's see what it looks like with the cover on. The cover looks like it has little buckles that go around it. I'll actually put the cover on and then be right back. Okay, so this is it with the cover on it. Um, it looks like it has a little space to kind of keep the wheels free. Um, I haven't figured out quite if this buckle goes like across the wheels or underneath. I don't think it should go through here. Um, there's a little impossible to open Velcro thing. What is this? Okay. So it looks like luggage tags can go in there so you don't lose your bag. And there's a cute little quilted pouch at the top that was open and I just zipped closed. So that you can get to, oh it's not a pouch, so you can get to this and then keep it closed and handle right there. An additional luggage tag thing right here. Um, not sure how you get into it. It's probably on the inside and you push it over. Oh that's cool, so you can, it won't like come out for no reason. And um, yeah, so this is the Mac, uh, the Mac Pro Zuka bag. It's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Uh, these little plastic carrying cases, they are a little dirty right now. Um, I guess this goes with the first impressions thing. Uh, not like a big deal. Uh, obviously you can probably just wipe these down. Just noticed they were a little bit dirty. Um, and yeah, I mean, these are going to be great, especially for like if you already have depotted or um, I guess decanted foundations into clear bottles and you can find uh, everything that you need if you know you're working with particular models. Um, I actually, I work with the same models kind of frequently, so I'd probably be like, okay, this bag's model A's foundations and concealers and etc. And this is model B. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, one thing I have seen other makeup artists do, which I might possibly do, along with these plastic bags, is I've seen them get like uh, little plastic drawers, the kind you can get from Walmart, um, and kind of just put them in here so everything can you can pull everything out, and um, it'll there'll be like a little bit more organization as far as like little pigments and single pots of eyeshadow and things like that. Oh, just noticed this. There is a full pouch right there. 
So I would probably zip this bottom part closed like halfway and put like wipes and um, cotton balls and stuff like that in there so that it's not in here. Uh, makeup remover so that it doesn't, you know, if it spills, it's just kind of like all over the outside, not on the inside. So, uh, yeah, that's my first impression slash, I guess, mini review of Mac Zuka bag. I can only tell you after a couple shoots how it's actually going to work out. Um, and since I'm working at Sephora now, I don't know how much time I'm going to have for shoots and whatnot. So I will update the information for this, um, probably edit just the blog post when I can on how it's held up. But I mean, it, it looks pretty sturdy. I know it cost a pretty penny. Um, I know for sure it's in the $200 range, not positive exactly how much, but I will add that in there. So, hope, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Um, that helps make your decision in purchasing this little guy. Um, and yeah, if you have any comments, please let me know below. And I look forward to hearing from you and you guys have, you guys have a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> Alright, bye.